always grew up watching the cup finals. I always wanted to walk up the Wembley steps and lift a trophy. I'd never done it in my career as a player and walking up those steps yeah. and lifting a trophy is just special. Yeah, you know, just amazing moment. To be heroes, blood on your knuckles, heroes, the world on your shoulders, heroes, giving everything you've got, fighting till the victory is won, hero. That was when I knew that this was this club was the real deal was completely sold out weeks for the game. who were pretty bad. I put a lot of money in one season, didn't work again, and then obviously we had to move on because we didn't have the money because all the money had gone then. And everything we got, everything we made, everything went down into the players' budget. Because, you know, we wanted to get out of that league. That for me was one of the best moments I've ever felt on a football pitch. It was just an unbelievable occasion. He wasn't happy with the changing rooms. Uh, there was a rumour that they got changed on the court, which I don't know whether that's true or not. We just built a, a team spirit and bond and togetherness from there. Just coming back here today and seeing the shirts on the walls and the pictures and stuff, and you realise you know, it's a legacy that the club can always have and you feel proud of that. It's such a big club. I was a League Two footballer like we all were at that time and I felt like a Premier League player. You're in something that, that is quite surreal. Make sure you enjoy it, because I think up until the end of it, you don't realise how big it, it, it can become. To score the goal, which sort of knocked the stuff in Ireland, was um, yeah, a proud moment.